Fixed Capital and Working Capital – An Overview We are aware that every organization requires money to finance assets and to carry out business activities. The assets may be of two types – fixed assets and current assets. Fixed assets are assets of relatively permanent nature, used in operation of business and are not intended for sale. For example, plant and machinery, furniture and fixture, land and building, vehicles, just to name a few. Current assets, on the other hand, are those assets which in the normal routine of the business get converted into cash within one year. For example, inventories and bills receivable. Fixed Capital Fixed Capital refers to investment in fixed assets of a business. An organization may require fixed capital to establish a new enterprise or to expand the existing enterprise. Working Capital the amount of funds invested in current assets is known as working capital. A business organization also invests in current assets to smoothen day-to-day -day operations of its business. Factors affecting the requirement of fixed capital There are various factors that affect the requirement of fixed capital in an organization. Let us examine each of them at a time. 1. Nature of business The amount of fixed capital requirements depends upon the nature of business an organization is engaged in. For example, public enterprises such as railways, water supply undertakings, electric companies, public transport undertaking require large fixed capital. On the other hand, trading concerns like wholesalers and retailers do not require heavy investment in fixed assets comparatively. 2. Scale of operations Another factor upon which the amount of fixed capital requirement depends is the scale of operations of an organization. An organization working on a large scale requires great amount of fixed capital than the one which is operating on a small scale. 3. Choice of technique Technique of production is another factor which affects the fixed capital requirements. An organization using capital-intensive techniques requires higher fixed capital to invest in plant and machinery. A labor-intensive organization, on the other hand, needs lesser fixed capital. 4. Technology upgradation Another factor which affects the fixed capital requirement is technology upgradation. Organizations which use assets that are prone to obsolescence need higher fixed capital to purchase such assets. For example, computers become obsolete faster than furniture and need to be replaced much sooner. 5. Growth Prospects The amount of fixed capital requirements also depends upon the growth prospects of an organization. An organization which is anticipating higher growth in future requires higher investment in fixed assets. For example, a firm may require capital to increase its production capacity in order to meet the estimated higher demand. 6. Diversification Diversification is another factor that may affect the fixed capital requirement. 
an organization may require fixed capital to diversify its operations. For example, a textile company which is diversifying its operations and planning to venture in cement industry would require additional investment in fixed capital. 7. Financing Alternatives an organization may acquire some fixed assets like machinery and equipment either on cash basis or on installments or on lease. Enterprises purchasing fixed assets on cash basis will require larger amount of fixed capital as compared to those which acquire these assets on installments or lease basis. 8. Level of Collaboration Level of collaboration is another factor which affects the fixed capital requirement of an organization. A business organization needs adequate working capital to maintain liquidity and to run the business smoothly and efficiently. However, the amount of working capital required varies from business to business and from period to period. A quick look at various factors affecting the working capital requirements. Nature of business the basic nature of business is an important factor in deciding the amount of working capital required to run a business smoothly. The working capital requirement of a manufacturing organization is usually higher as compared to a trading organization as the former requires huge inventories and the amount lent to debtors is also likely to be large due to credit sales. Scale of Operations Economies of scale in microeconomics refers to the cost advantages that a business obtains due to expansion. The scale of operations of an organization plays a major role in determining the amount of working capital requirement of every firm. Organizations that operate on a higher scale of operation require larger amount of working capital as compared to the organizations which operate on a lower scale due to high inventory requirement and large number of debtors. Business Cycle Different phases of business cycles affect the requirement of working capital for a firm. During boom situation, a firm may need higher amount of working capital due to high level of production and sales resulting from an increase in demand for goods. On the contrary, during depression and recession, lesser working capital is required due to low sales and low production. Seasonal factors Seasonal factors also affect the requirement of working capital by an organization. The organizations that are engaged in manufacturing products like ceiling fans or woolen garments require a higher amount of working capital during the peak period. As against this, the level of activity as well as the requirement of working capital will be lower during the lean season. Production cycle Production cycle refers to the time period involved in converting raw material into finished goods. Longer the length of production cycle larger will be the requirement of working capital and vice versa. For example, the production cycle of products like cars and cotton textiles is much longer than the production cycle of items like stationery, detergents, etc. 
Hence, the working capital requirement is greater for a car manufacturing unit compared to that of a detergent manufacturing unit. Credit policy Credit policy has dual effect on the quantity of working capital required. The organizations which provide liberal credit facility to their customers need more working capital as compared to those organizations which observe strict credit terms. On the other hand, if such an organization also enjoys liberal credit facility from its suppliers, it can manage with lower amount of working capital and vice versa. Operating efficiency Operating efficiency of a firm also determines the requirement of working capital. The firm which manages its raw materials efficiently may be able to manage with lesser working capital. Similarly, an organization may achieve a better debtors turnover ratio by reducing the amount tied up in receivable. A firm may reduce the average time for which finished goods inventory is held by using better sales effort. Such efficiencies may lessen the level of raw materials, finished goods and debtors resulting in lower requirement of working capital. Availability of raw material the working capital requirement also depends upon the availability of raw material. An organization may require lower stock levels and lesser working capital if raw materials and other required materials are available freely and continuously and vice versa. Growth Prospects Another factor which affects the working capital requirements is the growth prospects of an organization. An organization may require higher amount of working capital if its growth potential is perceived to be higher. The company may need more funds to meet higher production and sales target. Level of competition Higher level of competition may increase the working capital requirement as a firm may necessitate higher stocks of finished goods to meet urgent orders from customers. Inflation The working capital requirement of a business become higher with higher rate of inflation. With rising prices, a firm may require larger amount of working capital to maintain a constant volume of production and sales. In a nutshell, every organization requires money to carry out business activities. The firm's capital requirement can be broadly divided into fixed capital and working capital requirements. Fixed capital represents the requirement of capital for permanent or long-term financial needs of the business. Such requirement depends upon 1. The nature of business 2. Scale of operations 3. Choice of technique 4. Technology upgradation 5. Growth prospects 6. Diversification 7. Financing alternatives and 8. Level of collaboration Working capital represents the amount of funds required for financing current assets. The working capital requirement is determined by 1. The nature of business 2. Scale of operations 3. Business cycle 4. Seasonal factors 5. Production cycle 6. Credit policy 7. Operating efficiency 8. Availability of raw material 9. 
growth prospects. 10. Level of competition and 11. Inflation